Welcome back. So if you recall on Friday, I drilled uh, the first of the holes here for the fasteners on the windows. So my mission on Monday was to drill the other 35 and that was no easy task because um, after drilling each one, which I had to do very carefully in order to not crack the acrylic uh, by hand here, I had to um, put a little chamfer there on the edge of each of the holes um, using a countersink bit. And I tried um, on a test coupon, tried doing it with a drill bit, but it always left a little sort of jumpiness so doing it by hand was the only way and by the end of the day my hands were shot um, anyway so in the meantime Jeff got himself sorted out here with the other side mold for the other wing spar this is the right hand side one and uh, switched over the, the framework there and uh, got that set up in the cool room and Devin was in the process of getting these uh, last two molds there for those two four plane ribs ready to put the heavyweight layers on them and now a little bit later on I've moved on to the door and just to show you kind of how I make sure that I do a um, perpendicular or normal to the surface uh, hole I have my little uh, fixture there which is just a bit of an aluminum uh, channel that I have a hole drilled through there and I hold that on the surface there with one hand and uh, get it nice and flat and then I can drill the hole and that makes sure that uh, the hole goes straight through and not on an angle and so here a little further along, still got two to do over there and I've done the ones on this side. So almost all the ones done on the fuselage now. And here's Devin in the process of laying up the heavyweight layers on those two molds. Uh, he's got uh, one of them already done and uh, just finishing off the other one there. So uh, that'll be those ones sorted out and they'll just need to be trimmed and cleaned up. So with each of these holes I start with a centering drill bit and just drill a little bit and before it starts getting really hot I take the drill bit out put it in some water let it cool off and then blow it off um, with the air gun and then keep drilling so it takes um, several minutes just to drill each of the holes and then of course you've got to go through the carbon as well in which I just transi transition to a normal bit on that as well and then the countersinking as well that takes about five minutes for each hole and here you can see Jeff's got this mold all prepped now, five layers of wax on there and all the peel, uh, the, sorry, the tacky tape down and prepped and everything marked out so that's ready for layup on Tuesday. And right around six o'clock there on Monday I finished everything so that was good and my hands were just as shot as I said before so it was actually good to have a day off um, where I could let my hands recover. And now this is Wednesday morning today and uh, guys are peeling back what they did on Tuesday so this is the first uh, stage of the layup for this uh, wing spar and as you can see it looks pretty nice I'm just taking all the um, peel ply and stuff off and here's the first of those um, rib molds there for the four plane so that one's been released and had the plug removed from it and that one just needs to be trimmed and cleaned up and waxed now and here's the other one already trimmed off so that one just needs to be waxed and uh, be ready to actually lay up that part and then we'll have all the ribs for the four plane and, and we've already got the spars already done so my mission for today was to get this window bonded back in and actually we got some uh, chem seal which is a, a more sort of flexible adhesive that's designed for using uh, sealing like tanks and also um, like fuel tanks and also for you know on pressurized aircraft it's a you know aircraft spruce product uh, but the trick was to try and get it underneath that window because as you might have seen before the window was only released on the three sides and the bottom was still fully bonded in so I was using um, these little uh, um, wedges there to lift the window up just as much as I could and then the um, glue was coming out from um, a, um, a pump thing out of that tube there that you see is in the trash and in combination with using like a drinking straw I was able to sort of squirt it in underneath even in the really tight gap and then I was using some bit, cut up bits of this uh, cutting board um, plastic there to push it in even further underneath there especially where it was tight towards the bottom of the window and uh, once I did all that and got it all sort of in there as much as I could you know pushing it all in through that whole area because it's about four inches wide almost I just put a whole bunch of clamps on there to pull it all in and um, actually got pretty good coverage there about 98 percent coverage there's a couple of places where it's just did, didn't get any sealing under there because i ran out but anyway i consider that a success and so um, tomorrow i'll be doing the other one and in the meantime the guys are starting the layout or the second stage of the layout there on the spa on the second wing spa so here you can see just in the process of putting down um, the thin tape layer there 
that's um, you know makes up the cap and that's the upper cap that he's working on right now so that chem seal takes about 72 hours to fully cure so I won't be able to do too much with the door but while I was sitting there I could clean up uh, where I bonded in um, that hard point there for that bracket so I was just doing that there with the right angle and did the other one as well so just more work in finishing off these doors it won't be too long and I'll be able to put that upper skin on there um, which will you know finish off the door and there's the other one so just that, that one still needs to be worked you can see that hasn't been sanded on there and uh, meanwhile further along there guys are you can see quite thick there's quite a few layers now being put down that uh, Jeff's laying out very carefully and uh, weighing down and just you know getting a really good consistency there with um, the resin going through there and of course you know when you when you put the um, breather fabric down on there and the um, and the peel ply it sort of draws any extra resin out of there and that's actually good having the cool room because it, the, that process of it curing happens slowly and it allows uh, a lot more time for the resin to be pulled out when the the uh, whole setup is under vacuum and Britt was nice enough to stop by this afternoon as well so he could weld up these brackets for me so that's just sitting in place there these are the ones that are going to support the door um, stop it from flexing when it's uh, under the weight or sitting on the gas strut and so Britt's just in the process there welding that he tacked it in in place there and then we removed it from the door it was just bolted on with a couple of bolts and then he just uh, continued to weld it up there and then we ultimately moved over to the table where he could uh, finish off all the welding there so we've got both of those um, actually done now which is good so um, next week once the that sealant all sets up uh, for the windows I'll be able to get the doors back on and try them with these new braces there with the gas struts and see if the door will close nicely without um, sort of um, bending at all under the force of that gas strut so hopefully this fix with the chem seal for the, the bonding the windows in and then these new brackets for the gas struts there hopefully that fixes both of those problems with the doors uh, so I can move on it's a bit frustrating you know because I've really spent the last week and a half really just sort of reeling from from these problems these two problems and you know coming up with a solution to both of them and so I haven't been able to really do anything else to move the project along um, we have uh, somebody new starting tomorrow who's going to help out someone with you know auto mechanical experience so that'll be good and while you look at the results of Jeff and Devon's handiwork for the day I wanted to let everyone know that we're at about 1440 deposits now and as we close in on 1500 deposits I'm actually going to stop taking deposits for a while until uh, we have the prototype flying and we have secured funding and we figured out exactly what the production plan is so because I think 1500 deposits is plenty until we figure all that out and it's just going to be more time consuming for me to be setting up deposits all the time uh, so anyway if you're interested in getting a deposit you should do it real soon because it's this could close out in a matter of days um, if everybody jumps in so that's our update for the first half of this week and thanks again for watching <laughs>